Okay, so it came, yeah, 9 divided by 22 is 0 0.409. 409 80th prime, we're going to get back to. Change that into time, 16.09 p.m. for military time, yeah? 1600 hours, 9 minutes. One six oh nine is the two hundred and fifty fourth prime. Two hundred and fifty fourth prime. Two hundred and fifty fourth prime. Notice as well out. Those numbers, symbols, can be arranged to six and the nine, the yin and the yang, time going in, time going out, spiral in, spiral out, and you got the one and the zero left over again for the binary. Hope this is all making sense. Talking about the anagram of binary being brain with Y. Okay, so the Y being one line for the I, V. Did nine divided by 22. Showing how that is also an I and a V, the four part. Zero representing the ten when it gets past nine. Numbers one, two, nine. Zero and nine. Zero then representing plus one of nine. And there it is. And the PM version of 409, which happens to be 254th prime as well. So we've got a massive, massive connection there to, to this, haven't we? Huge connection. Duality towers, I, I. Two hundred fifty-fourth day of the year. There's your two hundred fifty-fourth prime right there. Okay, so the shape as well. Remember, it looks like the I at the bottom being singular, the V at the top splitting into two. Duality, so going from one to two. When you think about the 254th day of the year, 9 11, the twin towers were falling. They both fell, didn't they? Fair enough, they fell just downwards. In, again, look at that symbol again. It looks like towers falling on the side, doesn't it? One tower falling that way. One tower falling that way. There's your other one there. Coming the one tower. Eleven. Coming the one. That's how many days there are then left of the year. 111 days left of the year from there. Two towers becoming that one tower. Eleven became one then. In that case a difference of ten. Binary ones and zeros again. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. The V is representing the towers falling. Can't show a vertical tower falling in a drawing, can you? A 2D drawing. So you have to show it falling on its side, but there was two of them. And there's your V shape. And then that just became one tower when they rebuilt it. They've built the Y. 
11 for the 11 for the two towers became the one tower 111 days left of the year as of 254 day of the year 11 minus that one gets you the 10 for the binary there one and zero That's how we got the 254th prime. Remember we said we we're going to go back to that 409 as well, being the 80th. Incredible how that, just that one number, 409, is two different primes when you change it into time for the PM. Absolutely incredible there. Anyway, that's why we're talking about this at this stage there, the 80 prime and the 254th add the two together I don't need to show that it's quite evident of course you're just adding the 8 and that 5 aren't you together 8 and 5 being as well 13 significantly anyway that's why that becomes that 3 3 to 4 turn that backwards to 4 3 3 and there's your hidden 84th prime. Just show that before I explain a bit about the eclipse. So 409. Change it into time for 1609 pm. 80th prime becomes the 254th. We added them both together. 80 plus 254. Found was 334. So we want to just spin that around to 433. There you go, that's why that's then that hidden 84th prime. So we're now at the 8th of April, and that will complete the X of the twin North American solar eclipses. There we go. Four years ago from today, it already went across there. Notice how it will go across this way this time. There it went that way west to east it's now going to go east to west once it does it will then have completed an x which is v and the v so a reflection of each other it's that balance we're waiting for the balance of the eclipse to go this way x-duality four years ago across America it went that way on the 8 4 8th of April date it's gonna go this way see how that's a one reflecting the other vertical it's a V and V horizontally as well it's a V and a V but that way round still creates the cross over there. V is 4 reduced, so 22nd letter, 2 plus 2. X, 6 reduced, because that's 24th letter. 46 again, so it's your DNA, 23, 23 again. It's going to be the completion. So the start of the video again, you might need to pause and go back to that to remember. But we began with the Y, the male part, male determining part. We've just ended with the X, the female part. Between the letters of V, because we've just showed how that V is that shape for the X, the V is reflected. 
balance for the X. Between the letters V and the Y for the shapes are the letters W and X. So that represents the woman part. Woman being the W and the X for her X part of the DNA. Woman represents the moon as well. Sun is the man. The woman is going to be occulting the sun, going over the sun, hiding the sun, darkening the sun, light to dark, woman overlapping the man. That's where we started with the Y, and we've ended with the woman, the X, the eclipse. W and X represent that for woman in eclipse. Twenty third letter W X twenty fourth. Add those together you got the forty seventh problem of Euclid part again, forty seven. Let's do it. Which you'll remember came up from the last video there for the forty seven. If you remember that part. Now that link to then, yeah, the 47th problem of Euclid. Back to the sun again for Isis and Osiris creating Horus. The balance. Vertical. Isis. Alive. Horizontal. Osiris. For dead. Positive, negative. Balance. The new Aeon of Horus. Which could be the completion of the eclipse. So between V and Y are the letters WX, the woman. Add those two letters together, WX, you get the 47 for the 47 problem. Tropics are linked into that as well now for the 23 again, double duality. But it's that 0.4, very significant degrees. That then added together gets you the 0.8, so 80% of 1. Remember I said we'd go back to that 80th prime? Well, there it is. We've gone back to it again. <laughs> so a double going back to... 80th prime was that 409, that really significant number from earlier. 8 to, is the 0.8 for the two tropics either side of each other. That's just confirmation of those tropics there. It's to do with, again, the sun. That's the nearest part of the earth as it rotates always to the sun. It's the curve, apparently, of the Earth, isn't it? Again, if you believe all that. We have to go on what we've been given. The equator. And then the tropics either side of it. Cancer above, so below Capricorn. But their degrees is 23.4. Again, it talks here about the equalness of it, the duality. Maximum latitudes of the tropics, same value, positive and negative. You're approximated, of course, because it's not been a perfect sphere according to this. And the tilt, 23.4. Actually, 23.4. DNA, male, female, the 80% left over, 80%, that is 0.8 of 1, isn't it? Per whole, 80th prime, was that 409? Huge, huge <laughs> significance there. When you converted that into the T, uh, time, sorry for PM.
we found that it's the 254th prime as well. We added them both together, spun it round, we've got the eclipse date. Shown there, our 1609 has the symbols of time in and out, leaving the one and the zero left over for binary where we all began. Just to finish that off as well, we're talking about the anniversary today, 2017, because it's the 21st of August today. 2017 was the other eclipse. Um, Showing here are the letters left over with the AI in the middle. You've got the brain B R N, that's two and eighteen, that's twenty, and then N is the fourteenth letter. We're not looking at the Y at the minute because we've already established how that's got its own significance on its own. 2014 then. The difference in years between that and 2024 is your binary 10, 1 and 0. Difference between that is the um, 3, <laughs> of course. It's the difference there for 2014 for brain, AI, smack bang in the middle, either side of 2014, 10 years till then, from that date, 2014, AI, AI, 1 plus 9 is 10. That three that we just discovered, three difference between that and then the 2017 eclipse. Three, if you do that backwards, three looks like an E, doesn't it? Stick E either side of that Y, backwards three. You spelling I, E, Y, E. Cheers.